thank you. Uh, I went to an AFLW game recently, and on the way out, I ran into a friend, and she said to me, oh, did you come to this game because it's the Pride round? And I assume she asked me that because I'm gay, and it's fine if you didn't pick that about me. I'm not wearing a denim vest, so I did trick you. Um, uh, but that is not why I was there. I'd actually never heard of Pride Round. I'd never heard of it. That's, and I turned around to have a look around, and behind me, there were rainbow flags everywhere. Like, everything had a rainbow flag on it. I just hadn't noticed, because AFLW seems always that gay. <laughs> I said to my friend, I was like, this isn't regular fit out. She's like, no, it's special. I was like, what's special about AFLW having a pride round? Is every single player just turned into the one straight girl on the team before the match, just being like, just so you know, Stacey, tonight's about us. It's so great to be here, it really is. It's so great to be here. It's great to be anywhere but my street. I, yeah, I have an issue on my street at the moment. Uh, so every single week, I do the bins for the neighbour, and I've done this for a long time because she's an older lady. It just helps her out, and she's very grateful. She's thanking me all the time, and the last time I saw her, uh, she's like, Alex, and I came over, and she goes, thank you so much for doing the bins. I said, no worries, don't worry about it. And then I remembered that my girlfriend, Hannah, had actually done the bins, so I thought, oh, I'll give her the credit. So I said, oh, well, Hannah did the bins. And she goes, oh, yeah, Hannah, your daughter. <laughs> I was like, what? And she goes, Hannah, that little girl you live with. <laughs> All right, some of you are confused. She's not actually a child. <laughs> That's not how I'm ending this set. <laughs> you guys are like, oh, I like that last act until the last bit. That got a bit weird. <laughs> She's a few years younger than me. I don't know why I'm the mum, right? So I went to tell her what was going on, like the real dynamics of our relationship. And I was like, oh, you know, no. And then all of a sudden, just like nothing was coming out of my mouth. I was like, oh, and then I was like, oh, no. Because at the same time I was having a realisation, I was like, oh, no. She would sooner believe I'm the youngest mother in the world <laughs> than some gay couple. How do you come out to that? Like, I moved in, she saw us move in, saw us and just went, whoa, I guess a three-year-old had a kid. <laughs> Righto. <laughs> so she goes, oh yeah, the little girl you live with. And I went, ha ha, yeah. <laughs> and then I just went inside. Now I just live a double life. <laughs> like, the other day I was walking down the street and Hannah went to put her arm around me, but right as the neighbor came out, so I was like, oh, get off me. And then she saw that, and I was like, great, well, now she just thinks I'm a bad mum. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm losing it. Now I'm just trying to prove what a good mum I am. I'm walking around the house just like, Hannah, we've got to get you in a frozen dress. <laughs> we'll get you out there on the razor scooter. She's just going back and forth, and I'm screaming out the window, like, do a trick if you can sleep in mummy's bed tonight. <laughs> All right, mummy's out. See you later.